Well, good late afternoon from Coffs Harbour. Must be getting late. The fishing boats are starting to go out, and I must say their uh, produce was rather nice. I had some for lunch. So, big day in Coffs Harbour today. Walked up to the top of uh, Mutton Bird Island. Well, it's not an island now, of course. There's a causeway that goes out there, which is well travelled. Um, so, yeah, walked around the foreshore here and then did the mad thing and walked about three kilometres to the Dutch um, barn. I don't know what you call it, it's a tourist attraction, but a Dutch shop with all sorts of Dutch stuff, um, including if you're there at the right time, uh, clog making going on. Um, and they have really got a wonderful um, miniature city there. Um, obviously, if you're aware of or have seen Madura Dam, in um, The Hague in Holland, um, then yeah, it's modelled on that. Um, obviously not with all the bells and whistles, but a, an amazing effort. One guy did it on his own basically, so um, I think he's about 90 now, and I think his son's trying to convince him that, yeah, no, no, you don't have to come to work every day, but yeah. He came here to retire 40 years ago and uh, decided he wasn't ready to retire, and. Uh, it's quite a quite a, a t testament to uh, you know his, his hard work and imagination um, what they've created here in Coffs Harbour. So it's definitely worth a stop if you're going through um, the Dutch barn. It's on the main highway, so you can't miss it. Um, so there, and then I went to some grocery shopping um, and got it all back in the ducky, rode it out, and I managed to do it um, without squashing the bread. So yeah, winner winner. I don't think there was a chicken dinner, but anyway, next time. Anyway, this is what happened today. Good morning from Coffs Harbour, where it is a balmy eight degrees. Now, I didn't get the memo, but uh, there's a massive evacuation going on here. Everybody's coming down to the water and leaving boats. It's not even dawn, but yeah, they're getting out. Not sure where to. Anyway, looks like another beautiful day today. It's going to be 20 degrees. Just looking for warmer weather than this. And the good news for me is I've woken up with the same view that I went to bed with. Uh, which, when you're uh, anchor, ooh, you know, this is keen. There's an 8 degree breeze coming through here. stand watch here. It looks like the uh, natives are coming out. I don't think they're carrying much to trade, so I'm not quite sure what the story is. I don't think I've bought enough cups for everybody. Hmm, this is embarrassing. Okay, so it appears that they're swimming around the jetty and then back into the beach on the other side. Measuring the distance myself, I'm sure it was shorter to walk, but anyway, that's just me. And it looks like the only other yacht in the bay is departing now. Let's see if they go north or south. And still they come. Well, we saw them going out last night. Uh, been out all night fishing they're returning so I think fish and chips might be on the menu today at some stage and here we are in mid-morning Coffs Harbour on the uh, northern seawall solitary islands out there and we're gonna head out this way and maybe take in the view from the top of the hill I think this might be a spot worth investigating when I come back down from the hill which is just behind here so these are what these uh, turrets that we uh, sort of looked at yesterday coming in look like from the inside. That's sort of just big triangular blocks basically to uh, facilitate the black wall, uh, the break wall. Beautiful little cove. I can see why they're snorkeling here. Very clear water. Anyway, that's the hill I'm going to climb that way. These are obviously the burrows of shearwaters or and or mutton birds. Yeah, one or two here. 
Let's get busy. Oh look, and there's a boat going out. Not much wind. Okay, Corfe Island. We're looking now down on the southern harbour break wall. And in the distance, you can see where we came from yesterday. So just over the horizon is the actual trial bay. And swinging around now towards the beach. And the airfield's just there. You can see the control tower. Looking north now, um, see the solitary islands. I'll have to go through those when I go north to Yamba, my next stop. Swinging around, there's some resorts on the beach further up there. I think Naughty is on the beach. I mean, Nautilus on the beach is one of them. I think that's where the kangaroos, the rugby team used to train. And swinging now towards the marina. Okay, and swinging further uh, back over the marina again. I just moved around the other side of the hill to get away from all the rugrats. And there she is, floating in the harbour. And swinging round. And the southern part of the harbour. Bit of lunch. Bit of fish. Hmm, what's going to happen here? Nothing much. Well, if that doesn't keep you out of the water... Ooh. <laughs> I'm going in. Yummo. And here we are at Coffs Creek. Just going for a walk along the shore. Pretty place. Well, noisy traffic, but after a long walk I've made it to where I'm going to. Hmm, let's see what goodies we can find in here. Very cute. All the times I've passed through Coffs Harbour. Never been here. If you're at the right time, you can actually see clogs being made. Seen it before in Holland, obviously, but yeah, it's a fascinating thing to watch. And while Australians like big things, like the big banana, the big pineapple, the big merino, they Dutch like little things. Perhaps because it's a little country. But here we go. All working. Wonderful. Yeah, even a giant sized bird. Oh no, hang on, it's a regular sized bird. Cake de mola, eh? Ah, Kinderdijk. Kinderdijk is actually uh, near Rotterdam in Holland. And it is a place of, I can't remember how many windmills, working windmills. Um, so it's a fascinating visit. But uh, this is a pretty close second. <laughs> Well, these are uh, typical, like, for Amsterdam, you've got those crossed um, window that uh, insignia. That's very Amsterdam, that. Oh, a nice little village scene here. And representations of buildings from the various regions of Holland. And something out of Groningen. That's actually the... Uh, birthplace of the Dornbosses. Somebody has spent a lot of time. Obviously not as windy in this part of the world. Now the angle of the uh, windmill blades usually signifies something and they were used to send signals uh, you know from one town to the next basically like semaphore cool houses from Marken, which is sort of uh, north of amsterdam um little fishing town i guess it was originally but all the little green wooden houses are quite typical of there here's a bit of amsterdam can't be without the diamond shop and of course, Alkmaar and the famous cheese market. You see the guys there all carrying their cheese on their sleds, basically. And here's a bit of poetic license. If you've ever been to uh, Rotterdam, these are quite eye-catching, these cube houses. I think there's about six or seven in a row. Um, I always wonder what it'd be like inside. It must be so disconcerting. There he goes. <laughs> 